Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For once I'm sitting down in my dark room. My mate gave me a chair and he said, uh, mate, he said you need to sit down more. He said you spend hours in the dark room standing up. He said you need a chair in there and he gave me this little wooden leather chair that I'm sitting on. So uh, if you think I'm a little, if you think I've got short or I haven't, I'm sitting down. Anyway, this video is going to be about another YouTuber called Peter Elgar. He's a YouTuber that I've been following way before I had my channel. And uh, his, his videos are fantastic. He's got loads of old cameras that he shows. Shows how they work and light meters and other darkroom and film photography related stuff. And my friends were going up to Essex to where near Peter Elgar lives. And they was doing a photo shoot up there. And I couldn't resist jumping in the car. I said I'd help them out. I said, as long as I can go and see this guy um, later on in the afternoon when you guys have finished your shoot. They said, yeah, no problem. So um, that's what I did. I went up and spent a day in Essex with them, helped them out a little bit. And then uh, I went off in the afternoon to see Peter Elgar. And I didn't have much time with him, unfortunately, because we had to get back for the ferry. So I only had about an hour uh, to spend with Peter. And as soon as I arrived at Peter's house, we had an, I, I, he was inviting me in with a nice cup of coffee and my mate Gaz as well, who was on the camera. And uh, my attention was to, I, I emailed Peter before and I said, look, I'd love to come and take your portrait, blah, 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 and have a chat with you. He said, yeah, great. He said, do what you like. I, said, I thought, all right, wicked. We'll get a nice portrait in and uh, spend a bit of time chatting. And um, yeah, so when we when I turned up and got there with a nice cup of coffee and me and Peter started chatting about film photography and other related stuff. And then I took his photograph, I took his portrait against window light and uh, I used Ilford's 3200 film with the Zeiss Icon Netar. And I took the 3200 because I wasn't sure of the lighting conditions. I thought well, I can play it safe. But I shot it at 1600 and I've got the negative and it's come out all right. It's come out really well. But other than that, it was just fantastic to meet this guy and uh, have a good chat with him. The only regret is that I didn't stay longer and I didn't have longer to talk to Peter and him to show me all of his cameras and, you know, just talk about the experiences that he had as a press photographer back in the day uh, and at some point I hope to get back and see Peter again but uh, I rolled the video I was kind of vlogged a little bit of stuff with PT he was showing us his dark room and his cameras and telling us some stories so I'll run the video and uh, then I'll come back and show you me making the print that uh, of the photograph that I took of Peter against the window light in his living room so at the moment we're just in Portsmouth and uh, we've got about a two and a half hour drive until we get to Brentwood in Essex and when we get there, do some photographs, and then after that, go and see Peter Elgar, get some shots with him, have a cup of tea, and uh, have a little chat with him. Can't wait to see the guy. And then head back home. Show him Paul's man. <laughs> with a Solinar lens. Now Jean Coates gave me that at Brentwood Photographic Club. Right. And she had it given to her and she had, and then her husband Ted, he was good at photography, they found him dead in his dark room. They had to knock his, knock his dark room door down and found him behind it dead. That was 1993 I think. Oh dear. So when I go photographing over the cemetery I say hello to all my mates. Say, hello, hello Ted. And, <laughs> and his grave there. And the other Dennis drew a card. Hello, Dennis. Who gave me one of my flatbed scanners that don't work anymore. It's gone to Brentwood Dump. I've got no film scanner now. I'm scannerless, but I've got an HP scan jet which does prints only. I was given that by a lady on the Trash Nothing site. And that's where people give stuff away rather than take it to the dump. And yeah, like, you yeah. must get on that. You get some good stuff sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's not 500 now. You pull it across to set it. You feel how strong that spring is. Pull it. Crikey. That's the well, that's got some power, isn't it? That's a set 500, see? Yeah. 
There's no film in it. I no, did, no. I didn't take a selfie then. No, you didn't. No, I'm <laughs> gonna, that is my next one to you. But you, you, you can't take it now until you wind on. Ah. You've got to, it's a double exposure. It's a failure, it's a fail safe, isn't it? Yeah, right. See that little signal there, you can, you can fire it down there. That's ah. it. Wow. That's, that's smashing, that is. Oh, beautiful oh, bit of kit, that is. Very, very sharp, like a Rolly Flex lens, that is. Synchro Compu Shutter. If you finish, when you finish the team, we'll, we'll have permission to look at oh, this go one. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little DSLR video videoing on. Is it? Oh, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he wipes all the pictures off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old days work on. <laughs> so we don't know how you do and ca switch Canon on. Uh, yeah, I'm there, mate. Oh, it's there on a Canon. Uh, oh, it's on. Yeah. Sensor cleaning. Oops. There you go. Now you oh, can okay. take a picture. Well. I'll Is it on manual you, exposure? You auto mode, like, anyway. Yeah, put it on some program. There you go. No, That's all. Program best. It's still on program then. <laughs> well, you want to um, Dave? Let's get a shot. Peter Elgar's going to take me portrait. Oh, yeah, I will be, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Let me come behind. Shall I have your camera? I camera? Yeah, that's it. hold your camera. Yeah, pop it out. Yeah, I'm just focusing that. Hold it. That's it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah, I see. Oh, oh, cracking. I haven't lost my touch. Look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do the lighting, look, see? Yeah. I charge so 20 quid for that. Yeah, you can sign it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll sign it. Sign it for me. Oh, yeah, you press that one to show it, look. Not too yeah. bad, see? That's good. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. And one shot, I'm so used to film, I only take one picture. My wife said, the Brentwood Gazette goes zip, 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 zip. With their motorised cameras when she's out on press job with me, she used to. You only take one. I said, yeah, I'm using film and I wait till they've all got their eyes open and they've all got their flies done up and then I click it. <laughs> <laughs> flies yeah. done up. Yeah, we don't. Like same with weddings, you've got to make check. They've got their eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's quite heavy, isn't it? That's a, that's a full frame, isn't it? So I bought a 3200 yeah. with me because okay, yeah. I wasn't sure about the light and all that no. um, and I ain't got studio light, I thought I'd get some window oh, light. Oh right, yeah, window light, but yeah. 3200 is a good call in it for oh, that. Oh cry, I should say so, yeah. Because this is only a 200 of a second, second yeah. and an yeah. F4 or something. Yeah, so. you'll get some, I oh, you'll get with it. So. I've never used that 3200 like that. I've got some in the fridge in the garage. You're probably going to shoot it at 1600 actually. Yes, because it's not up to its rated speed. Yeah, exactly. They've all yeah. said that. So, you know you want a meter now, don't you? So you want one thousand. Okay. Five point six, you said. Yeah, I think it says. Well, that's bang on, actually. Yeah. Well, it's good. Five point yeah. six. So we'll go with that, hey. Well, yeah. That's what your meter says. Yeah. Oh, oh, so. That's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Western meter. Western meter here yeah, from the nineteen nineteen sixties. I ain't got your glasses on, so I'll have to oh. wing, wing this a bit, but. Uh, so, let's have a look. Just focus you in on this. I've got given this right, sent this right. Yeah, that's it. I've got some now, Fantastic. I was given. Um, yeah, it's probably about a, a metre and a bit. Yeah. So I've got you there. 5.6. What yeah. does that metre say? Mm. Uh, 1.3 metres. That's what I thought, a, bit, a metre and a bit. So I'll go between 1.2 and 1.5, do you That's reckon? right, yeah. About there, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be about there, yeah. You can take one more and stop down more because you're on a tripod, you could get a 30th at the summit then. Right. This, uh, oh, I've got my, um, actually I can, I don't need my shutter release cable. Uh, I've got one if you want. <laughs> Actually, 200 would be all right. <laughs> I've got you in, oh. Right, I've got you in the background, guys. So um, if you jump back yep. a little bit, buddy, that's it, mate. And I'll get down so I don't get that's that. It, it's yeah. the mirror, you see? Yeah. Right, okay, Peter. All right, here we are. Oh, that's Good. one. <laughs> I'll take a couple more. All right, quick little money's now up. <laughs> no, <laughs> it takes more than one. <laughs> now, do you want a light to see the little red <laughs> I'm doing some glasses to see what I'm doing, actually. <laughs> yeah. But, the, the little light I don't the need them for close up, you can borrow my wife's ones. I'm really struggling to see that. Uh... Bit of sunshine now, look. Here it is, I think so. A minute bit of sun coming through. Yeah? Oh, I've got the glass in my pocket, lovely. Uh. It's 
It's gone up a third of a stop. Has it changed? A third of a stop. You can stop down a third of a stop from 5.6 now. I want to copy this folk. I want to copy that picture, don't forget. Oh, oh, oh. I said, all right, Frank, and then I drive up to Stondon Massey and he had electric gates. And then I ring this bell, Peter the old guy here with your phone. Oh, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Have you met him then? Oh yeah, yeah. loads of them. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> he actually paid his bill for his 10 by 8 prints. <laughs> Then Steve Davis, photographed him. Steve Davis? Yeah, he lived next door to Frank Bruno, he did. Did he? Yeah. And then I had to photograph him in a local cafe because he liked to go to this local cafe for his breakfast. But that, that one now is a bloody Indian takeaway now, where it used to be. Though I went to this cafe and photographed him. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Davis, yeah. Well, uh, right, I'll get one more. All right, there and we go. Yeah, guys, if I. Can you just press the button? I'll get yeah. one with you. Yep. I've got two of you oh, now, yeah, Pete. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. I'll get one with you. You'll have to get down here so you're roughly the same distance. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be out of focus. Uh, or lean over uh, like that. You lean over. the light this way. Yeah, that's it. You're on the light. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it, like that. So, yeah. That right? Yeah, that's good, yeah. <laughs> and looking towards there, eh? I'm going to go like that. One, two, three. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> Oh, Cut brilliant. the old East Enders together. <laughs> I'll send you a print. Of yeah, that. please, yes. And, uh, you'll see me probably on the video working on it. Yeah, so. lovely. Thank you very much. Go on. I hope it comes out all right. So this is where yeah, your dark room is, is. This then. is my dark room. I've got three enlargers. That was given to me. That Durst M three or four. This is a Durst M six hundred one, and that one I actually bought that. That's an LPL Pro. 770 Pro, 169 quid that was. And then this this is a um, constant voltage unit. That all came with my free M305, yeah. Then I've got negatives here in years. That's 2019, 2018, and 2017 missing. Do you know I can't find that? <laughs> a load of all film negatives. And Transparencies and stuff that I've done. And then this is my Nova unit where I do my colour prints, 16 by 12 colour prints here. I switch it around. This is black and white print fixer, A and B. I use two fixing bars. Then there's a load of chemicals here. This is my FX4 print um, film developer, all made up. A DK D72 print developer. DK50 film developer, ID11 mix there. So you make all your own developers yeah. made from scratch? It's inside here is a chem used to be a pantry that's full up with chemicals, but to get to it, I've got to wade through all this lot. All these tripods, I've give, given another tripod sticks, so I'm going to give one of them away. There's some flash units saved from the council dump. <laughs> Bloke was said, if you can get here in, in the next 10 minutes, you can have some stuff, he says. I'm going to go to the dump. And I got there, a big box full of Boeing's units. Oh, this is what I've been given lately. I mean, Lomo, we Russian, load of filters. And I've got a little thing here. A, a little um, SPO digital dream. I don't want that. If you, you can have it if you want it. I was like, do you want to? Do you want a darkroom clock? Um, he, he always wants a darkroom clock. Well, it's a big one. I haven't got one actually. Yeah, yeah I, that's what I Look at these clocks. I remember them at school, Pete. Yeah. yeah. That's what they was. These were saved from the dump at University College London. I left there in 1970 to start up on my own. That's, I was a scientific technical photographer. Look. Yeah, do you want that? What was it that way? You have to pull it. If you don't use it, I'll put it in my dark room. No, I never Gladly. use it. You can have that. Oh, you bless you. to see it without his glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've, I've had that given to me. Something else I've got rid of. That's, that's all out of date, that paper, but it still works. I've tested every sheet. But for Christmas, I was treated to some new Kentmere. I'm a Kentmere fan there. Yeah. There's some... I like Kentmere, I yes. use Kentmere. That's why I've seen Kentmere, I went with the Kentmere up there. And um, 
there's some colour paper here. I couldn't get in the fridge in the garage. I'm about to leave it out. But this is ever so old. I've got some Bromesco here. 40 years old. That's, Will it still work or not? Yeah, it works. I've tested it, yes. 40 years old. Oh. But you need some it needs a one percent benzo triazole. What's it this stuff here? Yeah, that's, but, that is ivory fine luster bromesco. Nilford Gallery. So to stop it fogging, you put in some one percent benzo triazole, which I've got here. Right, see, put one. Oh yeah, benzo triazole antifogant. Well. So I weigh out one gram of benzo triazole, which is in there and in my scales which i got when i was at university college london there's me i've got scales there which is not easy to show <laughs> we've got to move everything when i do c41 this is this is how i do my c41 i have four of these like four pots who used to come from chemicals now i know that the one with the broken thing is the fixer and that's the stabilizer and these are my C41 chemical, that's developer, bleach, and C41 Fuji Hunt bleach, and this is the fixer, which is May and Baker's fixer. So it's um Do you make all that up yourself as well? No, from scratch. I, I oh I bought the um I bought the chemical for the developer in a in um, a, a large amount from a company called CPAC. Then I was given by the yellow advertiser a load of Fuji Hunt bleach with starter, which is under here. And then I mix up the bleach and the, the fixer is, un, is underneath there from a great big 100 gallon bloody thing in the garage down. <laughs> makes 100 litres of. Oh, yeah. So I, every so wow. often I tip some of that out into a, another unit, bring it up here in another bottle. You must have an absolute wealth of experience. Yeah. In look at that was given. In uh, in chemistry for film oh, photography, yes. haven't you? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, Peter, that's, how did it work back right. in the press days? Yeah. When you had to get a photograph out really quick. Now, oh, if you're going to yeah. sit there and go through 10, 15 minutes of development, and yeah. then how did you get the photographs out the oh, quickest way back then? Mostly, it wasn't. It most of the stuff wasn't extremely urgent. I never had to do it in a few minutes, you know. But the Romford recorder tried it. They did it in hot developer, and swished it through in the dark without putting it into a tank with a cut a bit of film, swished it through hot developer and then warm fixer and stuck it in the enlarger wet on a, on a sheet of glass. That's what I heard. Right, yeah. it's true then. But I never had to do it as quickly as that, no. So the hot developer would develop the film quicker than. Oh, yeah, but it would be horrendously grainy. grainy. And uh, horrendously contrast, if you over a few, by a few seconds, it'd be over, you know, tr tr tremendously grainy. This is a Practica MTL5 three lens outfit with a flash as well. All East oh, German. Oh, I saw that, the MTL5, yeah. yeah, I saw that on your, That's you, right. you've, um, yeah, um, you've vlogged this one as well, haven't I've you? I've done the video on that with lenses and a little flash that I. I had to clean all the contacts on the flash. They're all gone rotten. But the practice is noisy, but it gives very really good results, and it's free. How can you, how can you tell if the shutter speeds are working correctly, Peter? Oh, well, what I did, I cut. Um, I had loaded a short length of FP4, and I went through all the speeds from this from one thousandth down to one eighth of a second. And then I cut the film in the changing bag and I developed that short length of film and then I looked and if, the, if they're out you can see that some are denser or thinner than the others. Right. And by that you can t tell roughly if the shutter speeds are accurate or not. What was your actual first job? Was that actually in photography? No. When I left school my first job was the British Army. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, because that was um, conscripted there, wasn't it? But I, I signed on for an extra year. Oh. Well, did you do I photography did, in the, um, in the I Army? I did, yeah, I became the unit photographer. Oh, cool. But I did pathology. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Practica. Is this a test? Oh, yes, here we are. This is the very, the very, the very test. There we are. That's the whole series of, t look, they all look even, you see? 
from a thousandth f1.4 to one eighth f16. And they all look very much the same exposure. So that means the shutter speeds are fairly accurate. I couldn't believe it, because I expected the thousandth to be more like a four hundredth or something, but no, that's the actual test. Amazing. I'll have to try that with uh, a couple of mine. Yeah. Cameras. There we are, folks. That was print of the year at Brentwood and District Photographic Club. And it was taken on genuine out of date film, because all my film is out of date. <laughs> An XP2 400 at Stratford at the Olympic Park it was and I've done a 1612 print of that mounting it up and it was the best print of the whole year so first time I've ever won that so nice nickel plated silver or is it real silver some of them are real silver I don't know but anyway I'm pleased to win that I never win anything against all these digital fakers they put a line in where there wasn't a line I don't know how to do that I just do genuine film mate in the enlarger and do a test strip and develop it up and that's how I do my film photography I don't put lines in where there wasn't a line <laughs> so anyway thanks for your visit and I'll see you again sometime so that was me meeting Peter and uh, yeah what a fantastic hour I had with him the only regret like I said is that I didn't stay longer uh, to chat about other things but hey ho there's another time and uh, Peter I will get back to see you again and we can have a good chat next time without cameras and, and whatnot but uh, I'm going to make this portrait now and I've chosen Ilford's uh, MG Art 300 fibre paper to make Peter's portrait and there's two photographs there's one of me and him together and there's one of himself so uh, I'm going to make those prints now and uh, show you the process of what I'm doing and then get them sent over to Peter uh, he can have them I've got the negatives and I make myself a print as well just for just for um, a memory you know so that's the paper that I'm going to use let's get on and make the print So uh, the first one of Pete is all fixed and it's washed and it's now gone into, uh, washed it to get all the fixer off and now I've put it inside the selenium toner and it's gonna, I'm going to put it in there for about 10 minutes and leave it to soak and then after that give it a good old wash because it's a fibre print. I did a video recently on washing this paper and dealing with this paper, first time for me really and uh, I quite like it, I quite like using this paper. Someone said once you go fibre you never go back. Um, I use it just for special prints and as it was a special moment for me to meet Peter Elgar I'm going to make them on fibre, why not? I've got my darkroom door open because it's quite smelly I should really have a glove on but I'm being very careful not to get it on my fingers Now this is the second print of me and Peter together. The sun must have come out at this point because uh, 
there was a slight difference in exposure I'm not gonna sit there and try and make a perfect print it is what it is and uh, I'm not vain enough to sit there and try and make myself look great um, Peter's in nice light that's the main thing and uh, I'm sitting there with my thumb up hanging over his shoulder uh, at the end of the day it's a nice photograph and a nice memory so that's it the prints are now being washed and they're going to dry out and they'll curl and I'll show the prints at the end of the video which it was pretty much now actually if you skip forward you'll see the prints instead of me rambling on but I finished my darkroom session I wasn't here for too for too long and I managed to get a couple of nice prints that I'm going to send to Peter so uh, I'll close this video off hope you like the video guys and uh, a little bit of vlogging with with Peter Elgar like I said check out his YouTube channel the, ge the geezer's got a wealth of experience and uh, I'm sure you'll learn lots from his channel and uh, you know I certainly I certainly do as well so Peter thanks for all your content mate it's really great help to people like me and others as well uh, and I certainly did enjoy meeting you and hope to get to see you again soon buddy uh, take care guys thank you very much like subscribe and all that stuff and uh, I'll catch you next time